Are you ready? We're trying to yeah. find that place where we want to dig our roots in, and we are very curious about Mexico. We're very curious about Hawaii. And as much as we love each other, we do live in a one-room schoolhouse. <laughs> Maybe I should just cut my own hair. No, no, you no. Ready? No! There is one decision, though, that I know will be made by the end of this episode. You gotta stick around. We're Brittany and Drew, and we've been exploring the world by van for the past six years now. And this is our home, Spirit. So click subscribe and let's see where this wild and wonderful adventure takes us all. Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. And now it's time to enjoy the show. Crossing bridges and borders as we escape the smoke in Washington State, where we've been for the past two adventure-filled months, we find ourselves seeking a new state of mind in this new state of Oregon. Craving a bit more stability these days, we find ourselves enjoying longer stays in our wild places, like this epic spot, tucked up in the foothills surrounding Mount Hood and focusing on our health and gratitude a bit more. Which brings us to Athletic Greens who isn't only the sponsor of today's episode, but also a huge reason why, despite these uncertain times we're all facing, by drinking it first thing in the morning for optimal nutrient absorption, we feel grateful knowing that we're creating the healthy habits and strong foundation needed to live up to our greatest potential. I love the flavor of this stuff. I've been drinking Athletic Greens every morning for about three weeks now to help heal my gut. And I've already noticed that one, I don't have to use my inhalers often. I wake up more energized the moment that I have this. And the second that I put the cup up to my lips, it's like my whole body just wants me to pour the whole thing into my belly as fast as humanly possible because I think it knows that it's healing every time that I drink Athletic Greens. I'm getting the vitamins, the nutrients that maybe I'm not getting other in my diet. The magical green powder that is Athletic Greens serves up 75 vitamins and minerals, including an antioxidant equivalent of 12 servings of fruits and vegetables that strengthen our immunity, helps us recover faster after intense adventure days, supports our energy, hormone function, and our mental clarity. Go to athleticgreens.com forward slash Mr. and Mrs. Adventure and with your first purchase you will also receive a free full year supply of liquid vitamin D3 K2 which are both extremely important to your health especially when you're stuck inside. Ooh. Now that we got our morning juices flowing we can talk to you guys about the fact that we don't know where to go with our lives right now. <laughs> I mean we're in this beautiful spot. That's Mount Hood in all her glory. One of the biggest mountains in the Cascades. Trying to figure out where we move on from here. There's kind of a big dilemma. We really have been wanting to go to Crater Lake for so long, and we've been told you have to go on a clear day. And the wildfires are starting to kick up here again in California, and the smoke's yeah. getting blown north into Oregon and Washington. And as I look at our app here, it shows how it's really going to get detrimental to the quality of the air in the coming days. And Shoot. We just, when we find a place we love like this, we just want to spend several days. And I know you hadn't seen this, so it's kind of like, are we using our days wisely? Like, I know. Are we staying here too long? Should I we know. be going to Crater Lake? Or, like, if the wildfires are getting bad and winter's about to settle in, do we maybe want to think about flying somewhere? Yeah, shorter days, daylight savings, where it gets dark at 5 o'clock. And then it's like, a little bit what do you do in your cozy little van? For van life, yeah. And then also there's our family back in Florida. Are we gonna go see them for the holidays? I'm yeah. pretty sure we are, but are we gonna fly there or drive our van there? So there's yeah. a lot kind of to think about in plan in the weeks ahead. Sorry if we're just like throwing Spewing. all of this onto you guys, but I think it's important for us to share like the dilemmas when it comes to life on the road. You have yeah. so much freedom, so many directions you can go, so many beautiful things surrounding you, but then also things that are going up in smoke that you have to consider, <laughs> literally and figuratively, <laughs> especially nowadays. Um, yeah, so... We got some planning and research. We need to get out the calendars, get out... The computer. Computer. We need to Google some things. Where can we even fly to these days? I'm pretty sure that Americans can only go to like Mexico, Croatia, yeah. 
Europe would totally be off limits if we still had our van there. Now we're here and we're lucky we just have to figure out our new situation. We're lucky we made it back from Panama. They're still in lockdown. So. Yeah, true. Wow. Well, next steps, we'll figure it out. Let's see, guys. Everything's figure outable. I was just thinking, some of you might be wondering, why on earth would you want to leave your cozy little spirit van behind? Well, the truth is that for those of us full time van lifers who have been living on the road for years, and especially throughout this pandemic where we have had zero relief, like we can't work in libraries or cafes or go to a yoga studio or take a shower at the gym, it has been a lot of bonding time with our van and in order to appreciate something sometimes you need to take some space from it so not to say that I don't appreciate every single moment and memory and future adventure with this van it would be really great for us to have like maybe a separate room where I can do my yoga without feeling like I'm not letting Drew wake up or get out of bed because I'm taking up the whole rest of our house so yeah that's just some of the thoughts there on why us full-time van lifers sometimes need a little break plus having like a real hot shower on demand all the time would feel like a complete luxury that i think would just like improve our moods and lots of things showers hot water endlessly oh dreams <laughs> Let's see what we come up with. It is now five o'clock in the evening and are we any closer to a decision? My brain is absolutely racked. What have you been looking at? I've been searching Airbnbs, different apartment availabilities, options, flights, calendars. Ugh, I need a break. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do this. Adventure happens to take a lot of hard work. Living as nomads isn't as easy and carefree as it seems. We have a lot more decisions to make than most people would imagine. Let me out of our house. Need Look some at that fresh beautiful air. mountain again. You just, you know, can't help but feel grounded when you look at that mountain. Well, we've made one decision today. We're moving. Moving on from this beautiful spot. Sometimes it's hardest to leave those beautiful, comfortable, quiet places, but when you know you just need a shift in perspective, you need to make that decision to have a change in your life, you just gotta go for it. Just get up and go. Onwards and upwards. Parking lot's full, so we gotta park on the side of the road. A busy highway. A lot of cars parked on here. We gonna put on our tracker. Are we running? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think we're hiking, walking. Yeah. Training started. All right. It's 1035 and we're getting our walk on. This trail is called the Tom, Dick, and Harry Trail, which reminds me of some of our dearest friends back in England. Dick was actually the first person to cut Drew's hair after it grew. Like, For about two years. He hadn't cut it since our wedding. It was from 2016 <laughs> to fall of 2018. And Drew had an afro afterwards. Yeah, it was pretty iconic. Now I'm back to Tarzan. <laughs> Well, Tarzan with dreads, wait till you guys see this. I think we're gonna have to do something about this. Ooh. He's refused to use conditioner or brush it anymore. I'm kind of just letting it go. For the last month, it's too painful to brush. 
I mean, it's hard work. It is I, hard work. I actually cut mine off on a whim. I took our kitchen scissors and I was like, you know what? I'm just going for it. I was tired of having split ends and sometimes you just got to make the decision to cut it off. What does a quarantine do? <laughs> a wonderful thing about being on these long walks is it gives us lots of time to talk, contemplate ideas, kind of just be out here with our thoughts. And I think that is something we found through our adventures, hikes. It's very meditational. And well, something that I think is important to say right now is that it's not like we're bored and we're like, where do we go? We need a change of scenery. We are not bored. We are like never bored living in a van. In fact, it's very easy to be distracted. Overstimulated. Overstimulated. You have to be very disciplined when it comes to getting work done, which you do a pretty good job at. But when it comes to those like bigger picture projects, like putting together a book for you guys and we really want to help a lot of you guys who are new to van life and give you the information that we've obtained over several years to help make your journey easier yeah we want to help get you guys outside you know like we're out here already we've been doing this for years yeah. now it's our turn to do what we can to give you what you need to get out too. Yeah, and we get a lot of one-off single questions from people that we try our best to answer, but I think one place condensed that's yes. an ebook would be the best way to get this information out there. Yeah, and so we're trying to figure out, can we get that done in a van? Wouldn't it be much better all around if we were in like a solid spot that didn't move so we could really focus and hone in on sharing in the best possible way and putting something together that was just like excellent for you? Yeah. <sighs> I'm winded. <laughs> it's good practice for us to see if, you know, if we can commit to a place for a month, could we commit to buying land of our own? Yeah, a lot of van lifers have been settling down, buying land. And As you guys know, yeah. we spent about three months with Jordan and Kaylee in Panama, which was incredible, although yeah. their land was their dream land. Yeah. Our dream land needs to be in a warmer climate where maybe it's not quite as windy and rainy. Um, we don't exactly know where that is yet. We have some ideas and those are the places that we're contemplating yeah. going for a month or so. Basically, we've been looking and searching for land since we got Spirit done and having a lot of amazing adventures along the way. Yeah, so. Let's continue on this adventure. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks for letting us share all that. A little rant on the trail. We got, got some friends. <laughs> hey. This is where we're going, but I think we're gonna take a little side trail. Apparently Mirror Lake's like right here. This is cool. This is a cool boardwalk. It's like we're walking through a swamp. <laughs> they don't call it Mirror Lake for nothing. True. Yeah, it's perfect. How far can she go? Oh man. Oh man. Now do a yoga move. Airplane! <laughs> <laughs> Should I wiggle the log, guys? Whoa! That was close. Have you caught anything? Well, one. One? Yeah. Ah, big fish, small fish? Medium, I guess. Medium. Ah, oh, cool. Do you know what kind it was? It was a brook trout. Cool. I hope you catch another one. Salmon huckleberry. I could go for some berries. Oh yeah. So beautiful. You guys gotta see this. We have Mount Hood there with Mirror Lake where we were. Wow. And then all the way over here, that's Mount Adams. Yes it is. Then we got Mount Rainier. Remember being up there with us? Camp All the Mir? way out in Washington. Crazy. And then there she is. Here's Mount St. Helens. Her top's kind of blown off. Definitely not as <laughs> not as peaky as the rest. <laughs> not as snowy as when we saw her. No. Couldn't imagine what that would look like from here if it was exploding. Any of these peaks. I'm so grateful that it's not smoky today. It has cleared up. Good day. Wow. Great choices. Right 
now, so everything's very loose. Okay. So the, so the snow and ice is what holds things together. So the main part of the climbing season here, it's people that are climbing probably May and June. Okay. I mean, I've climbed uh, January, February. I think the latest I've done it is July. Okay. I would not climb this time of year, but the main, the, the main why point- is, Why is that specifically? Because of the rock fall. Because of the rock Okay, fall. okay. And plus the, 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 the ice and snow hold things together down. and trying okay. to get up that last slope, it'd just be loose scree. Okay. It'd just be awful. It'd be like, well, a steeper St. Helens. Larry and Bridget recognized this up here. They're part of the mountaineering club and wanted to give us some tips about how they summit the mountain and you were filling that in for us. We're meeting Mr. and Mrs. Adventure, so we're part of the Mazamas, which is the oldest mountaineering organization west of the Mississippi. We love that. I believe, from 1894. Yep. You guys are Mr. and Mrs. Adventure in the same way. We're just wearing... <laughs> <laughs> this color was not coordinated. This just happened today. To <laughs> you got the memo we sent last night. Right. Uh, we love meeting people on the trail out here. You guys who watch our videos that we get to connect with in person. Yeah, it's like you jumped right through the screen. <laughs> or we have. Grr, tree climbing. We have been losing a lot of elevation real fast. Coming down, down, baby. We've been chatting more on the trail because that's what trails are awesome for and so much more. But this is so reminding me of when we were trying to decide about Alaska. We could leave the van and fly somewhere. We miss our international friends to the north, to the south, to the east, we to the do. west. We do, this is like the longest we've stayed in the US maybe consecutively. I'm not he sure. Told maybe we built the van. Yeah. At the same time, we're also like, you know what? Things are changing like every day. It's and certainly a weird time to be traveling, get on an airplane. It is. I think we all can agree on that. And we feel so lucky that we have a van that on a whim, you know, if, if it feels like we should go this way or that way, we have our house with us and we have that freedom. <sighs> so at this point, we're a little bit more feeling like we might stay in the van. <laughs> well, maybe we should fly somewhere. I'm not opposed to it. I know. It just felt like we needed to fill you guys in because... We're just trying to be real, guys. We're just trying to be real. Just trying to be real. And this is the most uncertain we've ever been about our futures and our lives and where <sighs> things are going. And so we can relate to many of you um, and maybe you can relate to us, even though we live in a van. Like, we don't know what the future is going to bring in a month, in a year. But we always know that there's a plan for each one of us on this earth. There is. Whatever decision we make, <laughs> it will be a divinely guided one, as they all are, you know, mm. when you set that intention. Putting it out there. Putting it out there. Go. <laughs> there's one decision, though, that I know will be made by the end of this episode. You gotta stick around. The final results are in. How do you do? 8.69 miles. Nice. Training cost at four hours, 12 minutes. Crushed it. Seconds. What a day. What a day. Boom. Go. What's that? <laughs> I think it's a love letter. Yeah, it's from Bridget. Aww. From the friends we saw at the top of the mountain. How sweet. Drew and Brittany. If you have any further questions about the area or in need of a place in mm -hmm. Portland to park your van and do laundry, give me a call. Bridget. So sweet. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, Bridget. We're still closed down for the fire. Yeah, gotcha. closed down. Okay. That's what we were wondering. Yeah. yeah. So. Do you think it'll open up soon or? Uh, I would think so. Yeah. Um, most of the fire activity now is pretty much interior. Okay. Um, but where it's burned along the roads and that there's a lot of trees that the guys are working on now so. okay is there another lake that you recommend between here and bend that's open um we're trying to go swimming really shallow and really murky and muddy. We're gonna end up real dirty. Uh, does this count? We went in, right? We jumped in. It's pretty at least. Nice and sunny out. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. You know where this is going. <laughs> My mom's a hairdresser, but unfortunately we don't have any service in this forest. So I'm just gonna wing it and 
hope that we can go to a hairdresser sometime soon who can fix this. I think we just cut like... Okay. You ready for that? I would never cut your hair like this, just to be clear. You guys gotta see how bad this is. I'm willing to cut it off however he wants me to cut it off as long gonna, as it's going. You're supposed to ask your client, what do yeah. you want? What kind of haircut you want? I just want you to take off a couple inches. Of your ponytail. I mean, I do think it's a good decision to cut it off. This is weird. I don't even know what that is. Cut. Okay. Or I'm gonna cut. <laughs> Maybe I should just cut my own hair. No, no, you no. Ready? No! <laughs> I'm just gonna cut a big chunk, yeah? Just cut by my thumb. It's a lot of hair. I don't know what that is. Chipmunks can make a home out of it. <laughs> I'm cutting off the dread. Wow. That. <laughs> what? What? This is why I asked you to condition your hair. <laughs> it's been living in the van. <laughs> You've had a pet mouse stuck in your hair. Whoa, it's done. Wow, that feels so <laughs> weird. They can see it, you were too high. <laughs> <laughs> look at all that. That is crazy. I cut off your hair. Whoa, look at the different colors. Sorry, mom. You'd be proud of me though. You wouldn't have wanted that left on your husband's head either. I think we can make a wig out of it. <laughs> Maybe a beard? <laughs> Save it for Halloween. You can be Chewbacca. Much better. Let's see. I, I can do some like trimmings. <laughs> Let, let's trim it over here. Keep if it. I can't man bun it though. You can. Go to man bun it again. There we go. <laughs> it's like a, not really a bun. <laughs> That's great. We gotta donate it? I don't know guys. Box of love? This has been a wild episode. We've made lots of decisions <laughs> and not made lots of decisions. We made headway in one department. I do know though that probably the best decision that we have made recently is to take athletic greens. And if you guys want to join us in boosting your immunity and staying strong and healthy and having a healthy gut and- With lots of energy and ability to go and do the things you love and go on that next adventure. Make sure you check out the link below, athleticgreens.com slash Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. And with your first purchase, you will get a full year supply a year of their supply. vitamin D, which is awesome. Thanks for joining us, summiting a mountain, cutting off Drew's locks Isn't over here. Isn't that a good look? And if you like Brittany's courage for attempting to cut my hair, please give us a like. What a whirlwind of an episode. <laughs> so be sure to stay tuned because you'll see where those decisions that we have yet to make actually end up leading us. All of us. All right, we love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for just being the best cheerleaders ever. You guys are awesome. And to a new do. I'm gonna have to get that fixed. <laughs> I love